What's up SaaS Masters, my name is George and today I want to show you Pally Subscription Building. This one is your all-in-one solution to start selling products. You don't need WooCommerce, you don't need Shopify, you don't need WordPress, you don't need any of that to start selling. You can do everything inside of Pally Subscription Building. So what it does, it enables you to start selling products right away like physical products, digital products, it has a license delivery system, you can even sell subscriptions, recurring payments, and it even has integrated an affiliate system. So that means you you can have affiliates join in and start promoting your products right away. So it's a super complete product to start selling. So enough, enough talk about that, let's actually jump into my dashboard and check it out. All right, guys, there's a great deal going on right now, and you can check out that link in the description. Now, if you're watching this video later on, you might miss out on this deal. So do consider subscribing and checking that little bell to get notifications. Okay, so what is Pavly Subscription? Pavly Subscription enables you to create one of these pages to actually start selling. Now, you can go into a link just like I did right now, or you can embed it on a site. Now you can remove or keep things, you can edit the background, the colors, and all that good stuff. So in this case, I have the basic settings right here with additional services that I add, your basic information, your billing address, and the payment information right here. Now one of the cool things that Pally gives you is that you can do this as a test card. So I can do a test mode and this will help me make sure that everything's running smoothly. Let's go jump over to my dashboard. And here what you're gonna be greeted with is the overall overview of the sales and what's going on. So the, the daily stats, the top selling plans, the all stats, and the overall sales information right here. Now what I recommend you do first is that you jump into the settings. So you go over here to the settings and set up your profile, the email that you're gonna use for support, the currency, the organization name, in this case company name, the gateway integrations. Now, one of the things that Pavly is really good at is adding APIs, developing and adding gateways. So they have a bunch of gateways that you can use. So you have your traditional gateways, which is Stripe, PayPal, Razorpay and Authorize. But then you got more like, I don't know, more towards uh, country based API gateways. So this is really cool that you can add these and they're adding more and more. This makes it really interesting because not all cart solutions gives you all of these payment gateways. So you can add them right there and you can also add the test gateway, which is really cool because you can test everything. Your API settings in case you want to enable API. Your checkout page settings, we can check that in a bit. We'll, we'll jump into that one. Email notifications, you can set that also. What do you want to get? And if you want to add custom email, you can enable it right here. The client portal. Now the link is this one by default, but the ones who get special deals, you can ask them to add your own custom domain. So this is done manually by them, but you can have that enabled. The background, if you want to change that, enable, disable some things. You have webhooks, which is super awesome because this makes it really flexible. If you add your webhook like I've done right here, I'm connecting it to Pavly Connect and I can send out information and do a whole lot with that information. Now, if you don't know what Pavly Connect is, I'll leave the link in the description where I also made a video about it. It's super interesting and the deal is also live right now. Your tax is set up right here, tax system, your invoice settings, your dunning settings and your add-on. Whoops, didn't want to click on that, sorry the add-on accounts if you have enabled that, okay? So let's go jump over now to the email, no, the checkout page settings. Now remember I told you we can modify this, so right now this is how you're viewing it, but we can modify it to keep or remove things. So for example, our header settings, right now this is what it says, we can change logos. We could do, we can add a countdown timer, so it's not added right now, but if I add that, it should be around here. Oh, I got to add all the information, but you can add a countdown timer. I won't enable that right now. The order information, basic information, you can enable and disable some things that you might need. So for example, if you need the company required, well, you enable that and it should add it over there. Oh, we got to select the plans where that's going to be added, but we're not going to go into that. So you got address, custom fields, layouts, footers, additional settings, the thank you page, and all of that can be edited right there. So it makes it more customizable and they're making it even better. So you got the checkout page and you have the thank you page. So this is the thank you page. Once you've made an order, this is how it's gonna be done. And it's gonna send an automatic email to you and also an automatic email to the, to the person who purchased. So it's an all-in-one solution. 
Okay, let's go back to our dashboard and let's go into products. Now, this is where you would add your products. In this case, they call products what I, in my common sense, would call it categories. I don't know why they call it products, but in my case, it's called categories, okay? So here you add your category and let's just add one. This would be, for example, shoes category. You can add a description if you want. This is optional. Uh, I'll just say many shoes, but you can add your own, right? So we got shoes right here. And now in the ad plans, we can add our products. So in this case, we can add our own right here and you get all this information. So I'll just say shoe and oh, 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 oh. it will add a plan code. We have the price. This shoe is going to be worth $100. And since it's a shoe, you're only going to be billed one time, but you can have auto renew until canceled. You have the expired after a specific number of billing times and it gives you all this information, right? So you can set the time so you can have recurring payments. The plan status is going to keep it active. And if this were, for example, a plan that I'm going to sell, I can offer a free trial and I could say, you know what, seven days since I'm selling shoes, I'm not going to have a free trial. You can set a fees, plan description and plan metadata. So you can have all of that. And right away, it gives me the shopping page. OK, so I can go view the shopping page and here it is. Shoes. Number one, fill out the information, blah, blah, blah and you're good to go, right? You can start selling because you already have set up the payment gateways. So it's super fast. But what else can you do with this, right? Well, you can also add coupons to this. So for example, if you want to add a coupon, like a 10% off discount, and the code will be, I don't know, Jorge 10, and it could be a flat discount or a percentage discount. A flat discount would be if I added five, that means it's gonna reduce five of the currency that you select. In my case, I have dollars, so that would be $5. And if I hit percentage, well, it's gonna be percent. So that's a 10%. Is it gonna be one time? Is it gonna be forever? And I'll keep it one time. The associated plans with these, I can select, oh, I'll keep it all plans. And ballot up to, I'll say, just until the end of this month. And you can apply coupons to subscription amount only, or apply coupons to add on amounts. Maximum redemptions, I'll keep it at 1,000. So basically it's unlimited. And I have a coupon now. We have add-ons right here. So add-ons are really cool because they give you the opportunity to do an upsell. So someone maybe is already interested in buying your shoes, right? But let's just say you want to give them the option to buy uh, red shoelaces, right? So we can give them that option by adding that. Red shoelaces, um, something to clean your shoes or some extras, whatever you want to add as an add-on. And this one I really love. If you're selling digital products, you can add license system right here. This is a super huge time saver and this is really complex in WordPress if you wanted to do this because you have to add a plugin, you have to do this, it's way more complex. You can add a name to this. You can add a list of the codes. So let's just say I'm using a code generator. I could just put all the codes right here. Or if I'm selling, I don't know, Windows license, I'll just put the license each line right there and it's gonna auto, it's auto uh, give that license when someone purchase. We can do auto generate it also. So it will, it will auto generate a license key, like a random license key. A license status, I'll keep it active and you select the plan where that license is going to be delivered. So if I keep it there, oh, license name is, we're gonna say shoe license. All right, and save that. So now we added a license and it's gonna give out random keys every time a license is given. So just like that, it was super easy to create the page to sell. Now that's one of the parts, right? We can also view the customers. We can view the sales that have going on. We got our subscriptions, our invoices, the webhook events. These are super interesting because you could do do a lot with the webhook information by sending that information to whatever you want. So you can, with, if you connect it to Pally Connect, for example, example, you can send out other emails, you can connect it to your CRM, you can send out customers to your CRM also, add them there, and the uh, infinite possibilities with that. We got our reports right here, the settings we view, multiple checkouts, and we have the affiliate system. This one is really, really good. This enables you to have an army of affiliates promoting your products and start selling. Now you can set up all this right here by, for example, affiliate settings. So right here, this is where people would sign up. And like I said before, you can have the custom domain if you ask for it. So I'll open incognito tab and I'll just go really quickly right here. 
and this is where they would sign up. So they have their own like um, interface dashboard. Also, every customer that purchases has his own dashboard so they can view their uh, purchases later on if they want. So they could sign up and they get enabled you to, to start promoting. So you got the cookie validation. What that means is that if an affiliate is promoting, so for example, if you click on my link, that means you help me out, right? But if you purchase within the cookie dates, then I still get that affiliate commission. So for example, if it's 30 days, if someone purchases um, 28 days later from that click, from the link they clicked, I still get that commission. But if they click 31 days, then I don't get that commission. So that's how that works. You're gonna have seven days, 15, 20, whatever you want. Allow, cast, allow customers, all customers will be affiliates. Um, you, I can keep it a no, but if someone just purchases and they become a customer, you can auto become, they can become an affiliate. And in their dashboard, they will have the affiliate system available. Auto approve affiliates requests. So for example, if they sign up, they're, they're ready to sell, right? They can promote. If you disable it, you have to manually approve them. Um, acceptable PayPal payment methods. So you can enable these. Select preferred PayPal in this case, uh, payout type, instant or manual. Um, instant will be done instantly and the manual will you do it manually, right? And you can set your terms and conditions page right here. So those are the basic settings for that. Then we have the commission rule. I'll just add a new one right here. You got the name to select the affiliates. It could be all of them, select the products. Well, for all products, or maybe, you know what? Um, in this case, I'll add it. Shoes give me a less margin to sell, so I'll only give 5% to affiliates, right? And you can do that with separate products or just all around. If you wanna select for plan or for all of them, apply commission. It could be a flat fee or a percentage. Like I mentioned before, it could be, for example, just $5 in every single sale or based on percentage. Commissions for recurring payments, are they going to have or not? So for example, if you have a monthly subscription that you're selling, do you want to give them every single month from that sale or just the first sale? The affiliate links right here, the payout reports settings, if you want to um, deliver that, automatic or manual. You got your commissions right here once they start rolling in, the referral clicks and monthly affiliate payouts right there. So all of that is in Pally subscription billing. It's like I said before, it's your all in one solution to start selling. So you can add your products, start selling right away without even having a site. Or if you want to embed this on your site, well, you have your solution right there for your users. Well, guys, that's it for now. Like I said before, if you are watching this video later, that means you are not subscribed and you are not getting alerts. So consider subscribing so you don't miss out on these deals. Thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SatsMaster. I'll see you guys later.